Hello, friends. I'm Dr. Reactor Love, Senior Fellow of Radiological Trust and Occasional Golf. Today we're talking about plutonium, nature's misunderstood teddy bear. A lot of folks out there are spreading confusion. They say things like, plutonium is dangerous. Let me put that to rest. Statistically speaking, plutonium is less dangerous than clapping too hard at a baseball game. Sure, it emits alpha particles. But only if you inhale it, or ingest it, or absorb it through an open wound while standing near a vent stack during reprocessing. But how often does that happen, really? You're far more likely to stub your toe on a cooling tower than experience acute radiation syndrome. And yes, it has a half-life of 24,000 years. But that's comforting. That means plutonium sticks around. It's loyal. It's dependable. It's the golden retriever of transuranic isotopes. In fact, we ran the numbers. It's 78% safer than peanut allergies. And almost as safe as crossing your fingers and hoping. An additional study concluded that plutonium is less dangerous than a sea urchin. A roller skate left on stairs or a microwave burrito left in too long. So don't fear plutonium. Respect it. Like a slow cooker set to eternal. And remember, if you can't spell it, it can't hurt you. Just don't inhale.